Welcome builders, Andy is Yodi here. I'm super excited to bring you a 5x5 easy build Minecraft 1.13 Minecraft Castle. I guarantee this is easy to build. We do it in super simple stages. It's very symmetrical. Just repeat it all the way around. It has got little walkways, platforms, doors, rooms, uh, dungeons. It's got floors for accommodation. It's got balconies and towers. It is one of the coolest builds I've ever made. Quick sneak preview in here. I'm going to get on to the build. It is just so atmospheric in here. And it's got lots and lots of floors for you to experiment, play, and just enjoy. And the little side towers as well. I love it. My favorite build this year without a shadow of a doubt. Hopefully you'll build it as well. If you do like these kind of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Okay, I got some helpers. Right, no time to waste. Alrighty, let's get this built. And I've got some help here from Connor2300, Mistress Callan, and suspiciously dressed Sebi223 with Ed Chinyosh joining us a little bit later on. Okay, so here's some ingredients. You need some iron bars, stone brick stairs, chisel stone brick stairs. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Uh, you've also got some slabs, spruce doors, trap doors, smooth stone, and some pumpkins. Let's do this. So, place yourself stone bricks, and then we've got pumpkins. Three pumpkins. This is going to mark out our five by five. This is a five by five castle build. Bring it up by ten. Ten in total. So stone bricks, a line of ten up the way, separated, as you can see here, by three pumpkins to make this little five by five cute little grid and there we go seal the deal at the top and around we go with a little upside down layer of stone brick stairs and then round we go with some simple stone bricks all the way around then we've got these beautiful smooth stones like that to make the crenellations and then in between here we've got slabs cool excellent progress so far um, we can also put that to one side to make a little ladder there because we're going to put a flagpole in the middle okay moving on we're going to um, take away the pumpkins at the base and then alternate stone bricks all the way up starting at the bottom so at the bottom and then alternate, miss a gap, do one, miss a gap, do one. Just make that kind of shape there. Then we can go with some more of this beautiful smooth stone block just to fill in the gaps right there. Excellent progress. Okay, right here, replace that stair with a chiseled stone block. Same all the way around. My helpers are just uh, catching up with me. There's a chisel stone block going into place. And underneath that, we're going to go for an upside down stone brick stair. Quality. Uh, next, we're going to grab some uh, batons. No, not. <laughs> Knock out that square. We're going to put in some iron bars. But these are actually only going to be on the outside of the build. So we'll show you exactly where those iron bars go in a second, but stick on three buttons, just like that. And then I'm going to grab spruce trap doors. Now these trap doors are going to go right here. So place a block and it looks like an open, looks like an open door, doesn't it? But we don't want buttons on this side. This is going to be the inside of the castle. So we don't want buttons there and we don't want buttons there either. It's on the inside, and we don't want that iron bar there. And I think the iron bar at the other side we don't need either. So we just, I should take that one out. There we go. Boom. So that is the in. Ah, oh, we can put a door in here. Now we need to get the door at the right level. So there's a level of the door. Hopefully you can see exactly where that is. And then inside here, we can put down three slabs times three and a little spruce wood door. And that's going to be on the inside of the build it should, should be at the back of what you've just done okay now we need to do four of these we need to space them out by 15 so one two three four five six so i'm going to show this guy he's going to go 
one, two, three. We need to make it 15. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that marks the distance between the four towers in the corner. So we need to get those built. So there we go, four towers in the corner, completely built. We've done those nice and quickly. Now you can see exactly where the doors go. There, 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 and there. Hopefully that's clear. And you can see there's no buttons on the inside, no buttons at all on the inside. So the buttons will go on the outside and also the windows go on the outside. So buttons and windows to the outside corners of all four towers. Hopefully that's pretty clear the way I've done that there. Oh, we need some buttons on that side. They were missing out. Tiny touch of detail, the buttons. It's up to you if you put that in. Sometimes less is more. Oh, we need some buttons up here. Again, on the outside only. We don't want these wooden. I've, I've actually used spruce buttons, spruce buttons for the first time in my life. There we've got some spruce buttons going in again on the outsides like that. Just finish those off and there we go. Take a little spin around. There's your four towers. That's actually the bulk of this castle done. Okay, moving on. Grab some polished Andy's Odyssey and some slabs. I've gone for spruce slabs. Second pumpkin in, I'm gonna come up by six blocks and then out by four to make a little five by five shape. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, like that. So in fact, it's five blocks on top of the pumpkin. Five blocks on top of the pumpkin. And you want to make these little five by five structures, which I've actually been doing a lot of in the last couple of months. Have you seen these five by five structures? Five by five square and five high, as it turns out. Two, three, four, five, plus one more to get down to the ground. If you count the pumpkin, it's six high. And these need to be done, three of these, on all four sides. So I'm just completing my second one here. There we go, there's two. Everybody else is doing the same thing. There's my third one. So I've got some legs still to do. And I've got one more leg to do on the inside, just about here. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. So there's my three done. Let's see if everyone else is getting theirs done as well. Hopefully they are. Got one more block to do just there. And there we go. Oh, here's Ed Chin Yosh. He's come to help us. We'll introduce him in a second. Right, now we want to have some come across the middle like this. Two like that. And some across the other direction as well. And next, some flooring. I'm using upper wooden slab spruce, in fact. And you want to cover just the middle nine. Mistress Callan's off on a mission on her own right there, but she's going to delete those in a second. Yeah, this is the middle nine. One more to do. There we go, the middle nine complete. And we'll just swing the camera around nice and slowly so you can see exactly how that is laid out. Quality. Okay, the next job is to actually just go run a line of polished andesite, or pretty much any block you like actually, round the outside of the structure you've already made. So a complete line of polished andesite round the entire build. That's been done already. These guys are quick, aren't they? And then all the remaining gaps simply get filled in with polished Andy's Yodasite. Or again, it could be anything you want. Diorite, whatever you think is good for... Oh, by the way, this is Ed Chin Yosh, all the way from Malaysia. He is helping us out today. Cool, the next stage is this wall. So the ingredients for this wall is polished and his site. We've got stone brick, chisel stone brick, dead brain coral, nether wart block, stone brick stairs, smooth stone, <gasps> sea lantern, iron trapidorus maximus. We've got spruces trapidorus maximus and some stone slabs, which we'll come back to a little bit later on. Okay, so this is the key to this castle. The dead brain coral looks absolutely wonderful. It looks like 
I don't know, mortared stone. Isn't it great? Anyway, place them in this sort of pattern here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one on top to make 10. And then the sides get three like that. So it leaves some little gaps at the top and those gaps are gonna get filled with nether wart block. Quality. Um, every second block starting at the left hand side is going to be nether wart block. Sorry, pumpkins. And my helpers are doing the other four walls in exactly the same way. Here comes Mr. Callan around the corner to figure out what I'm doing. Block off the pumpkins with some stone bricks. And then grab yourself some Lee Santerns and dig down one block. And this just provides a little bit of uplighting for the castle, it makes it look really good at night. I guess it would help to keep the mobs away. It'll just make your castle kind of look epic. Uplighting on walls. Let's have a look and see if everyone else is doing the same. And they pretty much are coping with my relentless pace. Okay, back to the wall here. Let's keep on going. Got our sea lanterns in place. Grab some stone brick stairs. And the stone brick stairs. Oh, smooth stone, in fact. We're going to go for sto smooth stone. One, two, three. I love this smooth stone. I love it. I think it's one of the best new blocks. Put it in front of the polished andesite. And then chiseled stone brick on top. And the next block is going to be more smooth stone right here. Stone brick stairs, actually gonna go in there like that. Hard to describe, um, kind of face out the way from the chiseled. Face out the way from the chiseled stone brick, if that kind of makes sense, hopefully that does. Facing out the way, upside down and facing away and out from the chiseled stone bricks. Good, good, good. Underneath these blocks, we're gonna place upside down stone brick stairs. And this is the point where you can get a banner. If you rubbish at banners, then have a check out my banner tutorial, which is just a few videos before this video. In fact, it was my last video was a banner tutorial video because I didn't know how to do banners. I was a banner noob. But Ed Chinyosh helped me out. We've made a tutorial together. Anyway, six stone brick stairs, as you can see in those locations. And we're going to go for a line of stone brick stairs above everything like that. Pretty straightforward, actually. So if you're building this, please send me pictures. I'd love to see you guys attempt and bring the castle to life. Put more detail in. Lots of stairs to go in uh, between the levels as well. So I'm not going to do the stairs. I'm not going to do the interior. The interior is up to you. I don't want to take away the game from you. This is the creative part of this is... Is, is what you make of this castle, what you do, the, the interest, the details you add to it. Anyway, cobblestone stairs in front of those little sections there. And we'll just take this cobblestone and wrap it around the foot of the towers. Like that. Same deal on the other side. Just join it up there with that wall. People are progressing. My helpers are absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? They recorded an entire video without a single mistake. Unbelievable. Anyway, look carefully. These go either side of the cobblestone stair that's facing outwards. Face them in towards a cobblestone stair like that. There we go. Now we've got Iron Trapidoris Maximus to fill in little gaps like that. I love that. The light still comes through. It still lights up your castle wall. And let's have a look at the progress on the other sides and see how everyone... Etchin was naked. Did you see him? He was naked there for a second. That was horrible. I don't want to see that. I think I've placed that. That's wrong. Yeah, that's better. And then that one goes like that. Like that. I think this is the point that Ed Chin's computer crashed. <laughs> so he's just respawning and so on. There we go. That side is uh, is getting a bit of progress done to it. Needed a, a little line of upside down stairs. Let's see how 
Oh yes, the upside down stairs need to go in here as well. So you're getting a second look at this wall, actually. Which could be useful. Oh, that's wrong. Hopefully I fixed that. Yep, that's wrong. There we go. And then we've got some more to do up there. I'll let uh, Ed carry on with that. So there we go. That is the wall. Um, let's check on Mistress Callan. She's done fine. And Connor, uh, he's got some of these bits to do as well. So we'll give him a hand. And there we go. Yep, looks like his is perfect apart from an upside down line of stone brick stairs. Ah, yep. Ed's just getting his done there. Excellent. So make sure those walls are all the same on all four sides. Now we're on to the next section. Stone slab, stone bricks and spruce trapdoor. This bit is particularly easy. We're just making some super simple little crenellations along the top here. So starting with stone slabs, then stone bricks, then stone slabs. We just go alternate all the way along. And of course it's easier to place them like that leaving little gaps which can get filled by our stone slabs and stone slabs on top as well and then we're going to get our spruce trapdoors i love having more trapdoors to play with it's wonderful it is actually a game changer having all these trapdoors creative has really been supported in this aquatic update absolutely magnificento okay so uh we do the same exact thing on all of the other sides so my helpers mistress callan Connor2300 and Ed Chinyosh are just finishing. Oh, Connor's a wee bit behind. Let's give him a little bit of a helping hand. Mr. Callan helping out as well. Connor on the case. What a team! What a team! Dream team. So swinging the camera around, you can see the progress is excellent. It's a working four already. Okay, next. Dead Brain Carl, Glass Pane and... Polished and the azure side. And we're going to go into the middle here and we're going to make a little, again, a 5x5, five five, 4 high frame. So it's a 5x5 five five square, 4 blocks high, and it simply goes round the wood. Goes round that wooden floor. So there's one done. And we need eight more. If you want to come on and have a look at some of these builds, then join on to my server, play.usetheblocks.net. It is a Java edition Minecraft server on the PC or Mac. So it's Java edition. You can't access it through Bedrock edition. More flooring coming in. Again, I'm using upper slabs of spruce. You could use whatever wood you've got most of. Any slabs you like, or even full blocks, actually. But I like the slabs. They look really good from the underneath. And we're going to keep on going. Another level up. Another uh, floor. And we're going up again to the last level. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five by fives. And that means the whole structure of the castle is pretty much ready to go and intact. And we can add on walls, windows, a few more turrets, crenellations, doors, and so on. Now, Dead Brain Carl is going to go in the corners here with glass in between. So do all the corners like that. And in the middle, we're going to mark out a door shape like that. Again, with dead brain coral. looks wonderful. And I'm going to grab my favorite door, the spruce door. And I'm also sneakily grabbing a spruce 
trapdoor as well. And the trapdoors, look at this. Spruce trapdoors going around a spruce door. Doesn't it look like a little indented door? How cool is that? I love that. A little bit of uh, depth, detail. Ed Chin Yosh getting confused between slabs and trapdoors there. <laughs> but only for a couple of seconds. He's pretty good, really. So there we go. That's that level pretty much complete. <laughs> the castle's taking shape. Well done, team. Okay, so um, we want to remove these three and then these five. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and then five. Like that. We're just going to cut off these corners. So here's Connor. I'm going to cut off his corner and Ed. Eight blocks in total, five stone bricks and three uh, smooth stones. Okay, next we're going to grab spruce buttons, uh, stone brick stairs, chiseled stone brick and blocks and slabs, basically all the stone. We've also got fence and this beautiful smooth stone block. Okay, come into this position right here and count up five and smooth stone on top. Again, on this side, one, two, three, four, five. So there's one in front of that door and smooth stone on top. And I want to be quite sneaky here. And we're going to take this little um, stair and just spin it around so it faces the opposite direction. So delete and then spin round and face the up opposite direction. Good, good, good. Next, we're making this kind of a, a balcony area. So we're going to come up by five again with a gap of three. So up by five, gap of three, and it should leave a gap of three nicely in the middle. This is the great thing about the five by five system. Everything, everything lines up if you build in fives. It's really a magical system to use. Fill in those little gaps of three there, and we're going to go crenellation, 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 crenellation. Chiseled stone brick, one, two, hang and dune. And then normal stone brick either side of that. And we're going to go for upside down stone brick stairs just to make a little kind of an archway there and there. The guys are doing the same on their side. Button, button, spruce button. Lines up with the other buttons on the other towers, which is kind of cool. Just noticed that actually. Upside down, upside down, and then a little slab in between. And that's that little section done apart from we've got some fence posts to put into the middle. So we'll just swing the camera around and have a look and make sure everyone else has done or is building exactly the same wall on the other side. It's Connor, Ed, good, good, good. Nice job, everyone. We'll swing around again. Just to make sure everyone's getting on fine. See if there's any mistakes. We can actually lend a hand here. One, two, three, one. Oh, these ones need to be changed. Need to change these ones. Boom, like that. Same on the other side. These need to be upside down, facing that way. There we go. Cool. Very nearly finished. A few more crenellations to do there, there, and there. So you're really getting a second look at how this works. Excellent there. And what else is it? Oh, yes. Fences just there. And that is that. That should be the same on all four sides. Very symmetrical build. This which makes it pretty easy. And I think it's doable in under an hour if you have a team of four, believe it or not. As long as you have all the ingredients. Easy and creative, I guess, in survival. You need to capture them all. Okay, so let's grab some chisel stone bricks, polished diarrhea out, and stone brick stairs. And we're going to place these in quite sneaky positions. So all I can say is there and there. Kind of level with the trap doors, as you can see. Ooh, scary noises. There and there. And then we're going to go for some diorite, 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 diorite. And in between, we're going for chisel stone bricks, chisel stone bricks. Um, Good. Now, these three blocks here, one, two, three, four, five blocks were upside down stairs. I'm going to re replace them. That was the edges of the towers. We're going to replace them with polished diarrheaite. Again, we'll get rid of these ones as well. And spread your diarrheaite around. Good, good, good. 
So let's fly around and see how everyone else... I fell into the hole. <laughs> see how everyone else is doing. Ah, I think Mrs. Callan's filled in the middle. So we're going to take out the middle. The middle nine we don't want filled in. Okay, we'll just take away the middle nine. And that's looking all right. We've got these little gaps in the middle, which we're going to fill in with some slabs in just a few seconds time. So let's grab those slabs. We've got upside down stone brick stairs and slabs to put in. So the upside down stone brick stairs go one, two, three, and then slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty good. Okay, I'm also going to grab some torches. And while everyone else is kind of catching up, you can hear them placing blocks all over the place. I'm going to add some little torches just either side of the doors here to light things up as we go around the build. There we go. One last side to do. It does make a big difference when you light up your builds, especially when you when you do at pee time night or just turn to night or wait for it to go to night. <laughs> Put some torches here above the windows and doors and things. In the towers. And again, that looks excellent. What we can also do is put in some ladders. Like that. Okay, excellent. Very, very good indeed. Right, so we're ready to move on relentlessly on onwards, onwards. Um, those guys are kind of weird sometimes. Uh, we've got some spruce door, we've got some chiseled. No, we've not. <laughs> what did we get? Stone bricks, glass, cobblestone stairs, and dead brain coral again. Dead brainy, this build. Ha <laughs> ha, one, two, three, four. Come up here like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Grab your dead brain coral. Place it there. It's a no brainer. Ha <laughs> ha. And then upside down and correct the way up cobblestone stairs in that formation same over here we're going to make a little window actually there and on the other side one two three four five six seven eight oh that was going to be a door oh that's right window on the left door on the right i quite like that kind of unbalanced uh, asymmetrical look to the build when you put a window on the left window in the middle and a door on the right. Otherwise, you get way too many doors all over the place. But that's looking cool. Mr. Scaland is finishing off with a little door. There we go. Cool. Okay, so next we're going to grab... Oh, what? I'm getting attacked. Uh, as you can see, this castle is very easy to... Whoa! That nearly hit me. This castle is very easy to defend. What? That did hit me. Very, very easy to defend. I can't believe this. I'm getting hit by new weapons. Uh, anyway, grab all this stuff here. You can. I, I, I would tell you what it is, but I'm under fire. I'm under fire. Uh, <laughs> anyway. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Grab those uh, stone bricks right up to the top. I think they've run away now. They've stopped trying to spear me with uh, their tridents. Make a little door shape here out of normal wooden planks. Stick your door in and then surround that door again with these beautiful spruce wood trap doors. Yes, Andy, it's a door. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, upside down. One, two, three, upside down on these stone brick stairs. And then we're going to go for more coral. And the coral is going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to do the same thing with the coral. Correct the way up in the bottom, upside down on the top, and then glass in between. And then more stone brick stairs on top. This time, not upside down, but facing the right way up. Quality. That's excellent. So let's have a quick look around the rest of the build. We can give people a, a helping hand. Mistress Callan's got it all under control. Yep, that's looking good. Connor is good on his side and ed is finding it easy peasy as well awesome next we're gonna grab oh we've got yeah yeah okay fireworks we're gonna grab stone bricks stone brick stairs and smooth stone we're gonna do the tower at the top we've got some balconies to put in but we're gonna grab 
a little bit of progress here, nice easy stage for us to pick off here. So we need to um, start off there and then make a complete square here of stones, bricks, all of it around. And then we're going to go upside down, stone brick stairs all the way around. There we go. Perfecto mundo, as Corrales would say. And then we're going to go with stone brick in a circle. Obviously not a circle, in a square. <laughs> a circle. It goes round, okay? It goes round in a square. Does that make sense? Alternate smooth stone bricks. And you can see all those smooth stone bricks amazingly line up with all the other parts of the build, which I absolutely love. Then we're going to make a more of a tower here. First of all, with a simple line all the way around of stone brick stairs. Or any stairs you like, in fact. Could be wood. Would look quite good there as well. Maybe even spruce wood. Okay, so more of these uh, five by five, four high and the site sections to build. Two of them, in fact. And another little towery crenellation on top. So again, it just simply starts with upside down stairs. A square of stone bricks. And I was going to use stone bricks again, but no, I changed my mind at this point and I've gone for, again, smooth stone crenellations every alternate block all the way around. Stick your floors in. And you can make all sorts of little paths and ladders and things going up. I'll leave that to you. More brainy blocks. That's definitely what I'm going to call them from now on, brainy blocks. And you can mark in some windows. And you can use some trap doors if you want. You could use bars. You could use anything you want really just to make these windows kind of look good. There we go. Excellent. You can put more trapdoors all the way around if you want. Here's uh, Mistress Callan, who's got her own website, by the way. Not her own website, her own YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put the link down below as well. So she's a really good builder and a pretty good gamer. Check out her channel, link down below. We've got a little uh, door going in, spruce door here. And some more trapdoors, just adding a bit of depth and detail. Although I like that kind of flat ordinariness to the top of this, I really do. And um, while they're finishing off those trap doors here, I'm gonna put in a flag at the very top of the build. So I can have a ladder coming up here. So for this flag, I'm gonna grab some birch fence and I'm gonna go for yellow wool. You might want to choose a color that's the same as your banners, if you've got banners. Come up by seven blocks of flagpole. I always like to go up seven, put one on top and we're gonna put two down and diagonal and then one down and diagonal and that makes a pretty cool looking little flag super simple nice and quick and easy to do so not much to do in this build we've got um i, I don't like these sticking out so i'm going to make these um shut on the side i think they look a lot better if they're shut on the side there we go the one in the back can stay open ladders are being formed by my helpers and we've got three floors and again what you would want to do is maybe um it's difficult to put a ladder in there so you, what you might want to do is put a, try and find a space for a ladder at the side. But, uh, you know, I'll leave that problem up to you guys who are furnishing your own castle. Great. So not much to do. We've got uh, maybe a balcony to do. So here we can put in... A, is that a head on a stake? That's kind of gross. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got a ba little balcony to do at the very top. So we've got oak fence, torch, oak stairs, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, chisel stone bricks, spruce stairs... <sighs> and spruce slab. So the balcony is going to go right in here. And this is one of my favorite parts of the build. I think this looks really cool. So we're going to go upside down spruce stairs and then six bits of spruce slab and then two more there and two more there. I'm going to wrap round 
this little protective fence and we're going to come up one two one two with our fence and on top of those we're going to go for stone bricks right on top of those fences and behind those stone bricks we're going to go for chiseled stone bricks one two under the stone bricks we're going to go for stone brick slab stone brick slab and then the bricks above here we're going to just change that to correct the way up and i think that just adds a little touch of detail one two three oak stairs like that and then we're going to go torch torch and I'm going to light up the inside while everyone else kind of catches up with what I've been doing. Plenty of torches. All right. Four balconies giving excellent views of your enemies coming from four different directions. Not bad, not bad. So not much to do now. <laughs> we really are getting there. Great, great progress. Okay, so the next thing to do is just to finish off with the bottom of the castle. We're going to put a door, a drawbridge, and a moat. Kind of an exciting stage, to be honest. Uh, yeah, nice landing, kid. Okay, so here we've got some oak stairs, petrified oak slab. Why is it petrified? Dark oak trap door, a big block of diarrhea, and a stone. Why is it petrified? Is it scared of me? Uh, grab yourself some sand. You could also use podzol and coarse dirt. We're going to count out three on the diagonal. And we're going to come around here to make our, our moat kind of three wide like this. So the four wide in the middles. Again, let's go one, two, three out in the diagonal. And you'll see exactly one, two, three where to place this. The guys are busy already. Going to take away that stone as well and replace the stone with sand. So there we go. Moat is information. Now, we don't want to have this uh, dirt exposed here, so all these blocks need to get replaced with something either cobblestone, stone bricks, wherever you want. I've gone for more polished and the site. You could use granite, would be a good one to put in there as well. Whatever you've got hanging about in your inventory sand now the whole of the base here needs to get replaced with sand again you could make this really nice you could actually use um yeah you could definitely use some uh podzol you could use coarse dirt maybe normal dirt i don't know so there we go all that is going to be filled in with water now let's get on with the door and the drawbridge grab all these ingredients and we're going to place our door right in the middle on one of the sides. I've gone for the south side because it looks kind of cool. We want to get rid of all these blocks here. Including those ones at the top. Pumpkin has to go in the nether wart and then nine blocks of cobblestone. Nine. I'm going to go for upside down oak wood stairs right here. One, two, three. With stone slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we've got upside down stairs going in right here. And a little ledge down with more slab. And that forms a little drawbridge. I'm not too happy with the drawbridge. Maybe you could come up with a better design. But I do like this door. Now watch what happens with these trapdoors. I'm sorry, my shaders are making the trapdoors kind of wavy. So ignore the waviness of the trapdoor. We're going to go here, but isn't this beautiful? The dark oak trapdoor looks absolutely magnificent. Those ones are going to just get rid of just now so I can go inside. And we're going to go one, two, three. Uh, we'll get rid of these ones as well, these blocks here. Do you know what? It's a little dark in here. Let me just very quickly grab some torches. And we're making a double thick trapdoor door. If that makes sense. A double thick trapdoor door. <laughs> Looks like big slabs of chocolate, to be honest. Dark oak trapdoor. Double thick. Back to back. Isn't that great? I think that's absolutely wonderful. These guys are getting busy with the water. You can hear. <laughs> it's going in all over the shop. You've got some nice underwater plants you could put into that as well. Now, I forgot to do that in this video. 
So uh, I haven't made the middle bit double thick. I haven't made it double thick. I just uh, used the command to get to the top of the build because I couldn't, couldn't get out. But look, it's a little cut out section. It's like it's an inner door within the door. But this stand back, it looks like a big fortified door. I love it. A couple of buttons to finish it off or maybe some torches on the outside of the build. And that, that is the castle done. That is the castle done. Let's just clear up our little build area. Unbelievable how quick this was. The four of us have built this, well, <laughs> None of this video was speeded up. It's all done in real time, this video. All done in real time. So we built this in a 40 minute time span. Obviously we're in creative and we have all the ingredients and we can fly. So if you haven't got the ingredients and you're in survival and you've got to build scaffolding and things like that to get up to all the places, then it's obviously going to take a lot, lot longer. But um, I hope you I hope you like this. Inside on the bottom level, you've got to provide some stairs to get up to the main levels. I'll le leave it up to you how you do those stairs. You've got a nice accommodation area here could be for the troops and then on up to maybe the uh, the owner of the castle could maybe live at that level and then you've got maybe some storage up here you've got kitchens and all sorts of things and you've got a, an amazing little tower at the top this is a cool place to play isn't that great i'm so happy about this castle i you can't, I can't tell you <laughs> how excited i am about this build i've been wanting to build a five by five castle for a long long time and it's just not really worked out but this one just suddenly clicked i kind of just I actually dreamt this castle. Oh, the guys have put a normal door in. See, the normal door looks quite good as well. So big shout out and thank you to Mistress Callan, to Connor, to Sebi Gaming 223 who's here at the start, and Ed Chin Yosh. Guys, thank you so much for watching at home. I really do appreciate it. Please hit that like button if you do like the castle and send me pictures if you build it. <laughs> lots and lots of waving. Goodbye, everyone. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you. Thank you so much for watching. To keep me making videos on YouTube, I'm looking for a little bit of support on Patreon. Just $1 a month gets you an inspiring newsletter, $3, and you can download just about everything I build every single month. And that download is getting bigger and bigger. And for $5 a month, you could be building with me on live streams.